Well, good morning. Happy Wednesday. How is everyone on this beautiful summer morning? I am getting ready to do another art show this coming weekend, the next two weekends actually. So I'm going to be in full gear today and tomorrow. Well, actually all the way till Monday. Hi, Debbie. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Gail. Hi, Frank and Derek and Allie. Good morning, Ellen. So how is everything going? Good morning, Ellen. I love that painting you're working on of your, is it your niece? That's not an easy, easy thing to do is, is our people. Oh my gosh, so hard. Um, and Ellen, I have this book, it's called Portrait Painting Atelier, that might be helpful. You were um, asking about how to like paint kind of the shadow areas on the skin. So reach out to me and I'll see if I can help you figure that out. I wanted to write you back and I just didn't get a chance to. Thanks, Ellen. Okay, so I'm going to paint sunflowers today. Hi, Susie. Mostly. Whoops. Okay. Let me see. Now I don't know why. It's not moving. Something's not quite right. Let's give it a second. Um, okay, there we go. It switched over to filming correctly. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Lisa. All right. I think that's good. Seems far back, doesn't it? Let's see if I can... No, we can't push it in at all. Hello to Sweden. Hi, Anita. Oh, geez, my phone's being wonky. It's like going super slow or something. <laughs> I do feel a little bit like that myself this morning, so maybe it all makes complete sense. All right, so I'm going to put down my, my transparent undercoating here. Um, whoop. Sorry, I bumped you. Um, yeah, I'm kind of a little, a little tired this morning. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe I'm anticipating the energy that it's going to take me to get through the next few days. I don't know. I'm going to keep, try and keep this really loose. It is really pretty, isn't it? I got these flowers in the next like the town right next door called Mannheim um, at a cute little coffee shop. I guess I got them maybe last week. Mill 72, it's called. For anybody who lives around here, check them out. It's an adorable, great little coffee shop. And then the, they had these flowers, and I didn't see them when I was first there, but as I was checking out, well, after I'd already checked out, I saw them, and I couldn't not buy them because they're so pretty. And of course, then I had the entire photo shoot when I got home. And now I haven't gotten flowers. I didn't even get flowers at market this past week because I was away this weekend and I knew I wouldn't have time to photograph and watch them as they change. Um, but I'll be back in pattern again after after my next couple of art shows. Because I've got to, you got to make hay while the sun shines. You got to take your photos of your flowers while they're in season because you can order them I guess in the winter and stuff but that's so incredibly expensive to do that although you certainly do or I do love getting beautiful flowers in the off seasons too because they're just even more of a treat so what's new with everybody I'm just rambling along on along and on I'm um yeah that's all I've been busy with is getting ready for another show and, um, let's see, I'm going to eat some brown. Yeah, so life's been busy. My daughter's getting married in a couple of weeks. So I have two weekends of art show, a wedding, and then Isabel goes back to college. So it's, I've got a lot coming up. I'm my coffee. 
Yes, or my do in, in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, this weekend and next weekend. So that'll be really busy. We set up Friday. And it's, it is a really fun show. It's, it's one of my favorites. Um, so we'll set up on Friday and stay at um, my niece's place in um, Bethany. And then it's two weekends. And then we're going to stay with someone in Rehoboth the second weekend. So it'll be very fun. And I wish I could just stay down the whole time. That would probably make it a lot easier than going back and forth. But Izzy's getting ready to go back to school. So I feel like I need to be here for that too. And you know, and said, how do I do it all? I'm not real sure, Ellen. I'm not always well. <laughs> it always sounds like a good idea when I sign up for it all. And then... Reality sets it in. I'm like, what was I thinking? It's too much. It's not a very relaxing summer, and that's for sure. Maybe the opposite of relaxing. <clears throat> yeah, lots of vitamins. I should go get some vitamins, Irma. I don't even think I have any vitamins. Isn't that terrible? Hi, Barb. those dark kind of green areas. I've been sort of transitioning out of using um, sap green to viridian, but I'm not sure what I think of that yet. I don't know if I like the switch or not. I haven't given it enough time to decide if it's helpful or harmful. Good morning, Martha. <clears throat> Anita, yeah, you probably could keep up with me. I just think I'm crazy more than anything. That isn't an easy pace. <clears throat> Love those colors together. I'm going to put some of this. My um, manganese blue hue in my sky up here. intentional strokes, right? I did a bird the other day. It might have been yesterday. I get my days confused. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday. And I used um, a different blue that I never used. And I really, it was fun to use a completely different color. It was, um, oh, it was this. And it really made a beautiful azure blue. Um, it really made a nice sky color. Maybe I'll put that out right now. Why not, right? I'm not sure if it's transparent or not, but I'll find out right away. We could use it to mix in for that sky. <clears throat> Let me clean off my brush and see what this looks like if I add it. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's it's opaque. But that, no, that's all right, I think. reflection of the sky down here in this in the vase I think can everybody see okay I feel a little bit like it's um got a shadow on it or something or hazy looks hazy to me so where's everybody from this morning I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It is corn season, tomato season, like my favorite seasons of the year. The corn and tomatoes here are amazing. So that's what I've been eating every day. Semi-transparent. Thanks, Ellen. That's why I kind of thought it was, and then I thought it wasn't, because it's a little bit of both. It worked okay. Oh, Barbara, you still in Ocean City? Lucky you. That's fun. 
Having a beach morning, huh? I'm hoping when I go to do the art show, I'm going to stay with my niece for a day or two to get to enjoy the beach a little bit. I haven't been squeezing much fun in just bits here and there this summer. <clears throat> Katie, Texas. Do you have micro veggies? Um, we do, Martha. I have a little like courtyard between my dining room and my garage and might put in a raised bed. I shouldn't say we do. He does. Mostly peppers and um, tomatoes and kale and lettuce and not a lot, but oh, yummy. Good morning, Dawn. Ellen's still in Virginia. Not No Florida yet for Ellen. That'll all come quickly, right? I feel like I'm going slow this morning. This, uh, I'm going to put yellow in with this. It's the, my front porch, it's the, it's like a, a cement slab that has scores in it. I need some greens in here. I'm just going to leave that pretty loose and messy. I'm not sure what to do with it, so I'll just leave it like that. <clears throat> I don't know that I wanted that happening, but that's all right. <coughs> I like to push my messiness. It's fine to do that and kind of find your way back out of it later. Always adds to the um, anticipation of thinking it's going to turn out okay. Because, yeah. My husband said that we were talking to somebody yesterday and he was saying something. She asked about my watching me paint or something and he said sometimes when he films me, he's watching and he's like, oh, I don't think that looks like anything like what you say it's going to. He's amazed when it turns out okay. I am too sometimes. Ellen, what's exciting? Now, wait, what did I miss? We're getting drywall this week in the new house. That's wonderful. That'll make it feel like it's really coming together, right, to have the drywall. <clears throat> You'll be able to envision what it'll be like to live in there and walk around. But do you go to Florida? Like, when you get to go see her, you'll just see photos. You probably don't get there very often. And is your house all packed up and ready? I've never moved like that. I don't know what that's like. Like I only ever moved like really once in my life. Let me see. Okay. I'm gonna use some pigment sticks. <clears throat> cleaning off right now my I have to remember that I'm I'm a little tired today and I'm not keeping up with all the pieces I'm cleaning this off because there's like a hard film on it a little bit it's such a pretty color It's a little thick. I don't use that a lot, but I thought it'd be pretty if a little bit shows through. And these sunflowers love a little bit of bright pink and a sunflower. Whoops. That got to be a blob of not very attractive right there. Just try and wipe that out a little bit. 
Yeah, they do often look like watercolors in the beginning. Carolyn said, I bought a bunch of pigment sticks, but they seem to always use, I actually use the same ones too, Carolyn. And they actually, Jerry's or someone sent me like a whole sampler of these. Like I have all the colors and I still use the same ones. I think it's colors that you're drawn to, right? Although I did add in a dark one that I use every now and then. And actually, I don't even know what color it is. We were looking for it when I did my workshop and we went to an art show in Connecticut, or store, I mean. Yeah, the surprise of pink and oranges, I love that too. But they didn't have the same one. And now it's such a mess that I have no idea what color it was. I'm sure I can figure it out when I need a new one. But it almost pulls off. Sometimes with these pigment sticks, it's not so much whether I like the color as how it goes on. Because some of them kind of um, pull away. They, I don't know if they're harder or they might pull away color rather than adding into it. But they all have a, their own personalities. And you said, I have a hard time cleaning the film off. My, I crush the whole thing. Yeah, it depends how soft they are too. That's probably even worse in the in the summer when it's hot. Like these wouldn't be good traveling in, in a car in the heat, that's for sure. Let's do a little bit of this. But I have some like that too. Like some are so soft that they mush when you're when you're taking off that outer layer. And others, like this is such a nice one. It keeps its form really. Perfectly messy, right? I think that's good. That's a nice messy start. So now I need to mix colors. I need my yellows, oranges, greens, like this kind of brownish neutral color down here. That's actually a gray at my house, but it's because of the sunlight hitting it. And then a blue, and then my darks. So I'm going to pull this down here. So now my, that light I got, that, that round light that wasn't working because it was reflecting on my thing. Now it won't work. Now I've got to send it back and I don't have a box. Like that's such a crazy project. Boxes and logistics of shipping things. Like such a waste of time. Let me pull that down. Maybe that'll help a little. Oh, that's a light reflecting from my ceiling. I don't know. Light issues today. Let me... I don't know. I'll just try to do it a little bit more down here. It'll work, I think. All right, so let's do some dark greens. Oh, I mixed two colors. I was playing around with colors this morning before I went live. It, was time. it wasn't time yet to go live, so I started playing around with the color mixing. It's kind of a nice flat green. I don't think I quite have enough of it though. I don't want my greens to be too bright because my yellows are so bright. Left brain office elf. Yes, it's exactly what I need. I have no left, left brainness in me. Sure wish I did. And I feel the older I get, the less left brained I am. I don't know why that is. Where does it go? Oh, you do, Martha. Okay. What's well, big? I'll, have, I'll tell you what size it is before I come over there. Because it has to be, well, I'll look in a little bit. That's nice, but I need that a little more neutral and a little lighter. Up here. I'm going to go add this in here. Okay, I will. Thanks, Martha. Mm, that looks too, too, needs more bright yellow. I'm going to put more lemon, excuse me, lemon yellow. I'm cleaning this off. 
before I dip it in here. It's one of the tricks to keeping your colors clean. I can't say that I always do it, but I try to. Um, it's still too green looking. That yellow in there is very yellow. So let me get more. It's not very green actually. I'm looking for the lightest green that's still looks very yellow. No, wait, I have this radiant lemon. Let me put that in there. See what we get. I'm going to have to put more of that out. <clears throat> um, that's better, but I need to add some warm white into it. That might be closer to what I want. It still looks pretty green, though. Still needs a little more yellow. Let me get, so I'd found, I found this color this morning. I wanted a radiant, a light color as something to mix in. And I have this big thing of radiant. I use a lot of yellows. Ellen, I don't use cad yellow very often because I try not to use cadmiums. So I'm sure I have it here somewhere, but I have cadmium yellow medium, but that's too dark of a yellow. Oops. All right, I think that will work. All right, now I need some of my dark inside areas of... <clears throat> like that. Sorry about that reflection. <laughs> you don't like that. Yeah, that's always good. Good advice there. Never like your cadmiums. You know, you say that jokingly, but I easily can have it all over my face sometimes when I'm done painting. I don't know how that happens. I really want to pay attention to values. More so than color. They say you can paint an entire painting in all the wrong colors, and if you have your values right, it'll still read as what you painted. be a fun exercise for inspiring art right if anyone's in my inspiring art group um my membership group today we're gonna um I did a made a little video about how I photograph my my art so that is at that still needs more red in it I don't know why this is so challenging for me this morning um at 11 o'clock today um All right, that's better. I think so. Value wise, no, that looks that looks okay. So that's like for the insides of my sunflowers centers. That looks good. I need my oranges. I did had orange out here. Speaking of not using oranges. It's really pretty. Oh, um, the group, you can join it. I think there's a link in my bio here on Instagram into the Inspiring Art group. I'm pretty sure there is. There should be. If there's not, let me know and I'll, I'll make one. It's a fun, fun group of people. All right. And Inspiring Art, it's it's my like online membership thing that I started a couple, two years ago maybe. And it's really just um, like we do fun activities twice a month, whether I do an oil painting demo sometimes, sometimes I... Uh, even acrylic activities or just fun, crafty things. I use it as my excuse to play around and explore and learn things that I never spend the time doing. And it's fun. Okay, here I am doing all this. I don't even know if you can see. I need this to go light. Maybe a little too light. Oh, that's better. So 
So in the one flower, it's very light, light yellow. Hold that. Oops. Wait a minute. I'm gonna close that door. Sorry about that. So now I need the lighter whites, yellows, and then kind of that background color. Um, I'm gonna take some of this radiant yellow and put in my warm white. That's really nice. I'll pull that a little bit of that to the side. I'm a little sloppy in what I'm doing here. I usually try and line them up better, but take this for the shadow parts. Let me see if it matches. I think that's good. And good morning, Donna. And then I need a sky color. So I'm gonna use this. That's an azure blue, azure blue, it's really pretty. It's a little cooler than, I'd say ultramarine, it might be a little warmer than, um, that's enough of that. So I need, just need kind of a background color um, for the underneath part, which is close to this. I think I use this, more white. That's pretty good. All right, I think that's a nice selection of color. Yeah, okay. So let me pull this back over here. Oh, this is falling off, sorry. Some mornings I'm a little more uh, haphazard. I don't know, let me move this light, point that up to get it so you don't see that. Just the sliver's okay, right? All right, so I'm getting my same big paintbrush that I used earlier. And I usually go in and work on my dark areas first. <clears throat> This is very dark up here. I didn't even get to work. I had started a large painting last week and I don't even think I got to work on it even the tiniest bit since then. It's always a little bit of a bummer. <clears throat> but things all happen in their own good time. Um, where else do I have darks? Maybe just right here. So this is predominantly a light painting. It's not as dark as, it's not as many darks as there are lights. <clears throat> Susan said, I went to see Beyond Van Gogh show last week. It reminds me of his sunflowers. Oh, isn't that fun? I bet that was beautiful. Where did you see it, Susan? It sounds like a fun experience to do that. <clears throat> That was in Philadelphia. I don't think it's there anymore. That um, pigment stick that I have there left a little bit of thickness. Like, um, 
have to clean that off, like a little lump. Sometimes they do leave a little lump. Oh, in Charleston, South Carolina, it was amazing. That's so, such a cool experience to see that. How fun. <clears throat> I do want to let bits of color show through that's from underneath there. My first layer. I love letting that show. So I don't want to quite cover everything up and have it be too um, all one color. Monochromatic or is that what I mean? I'm not sure. Just like doing that little bit like really makes it look different, doesn't it? <clears throat> Make sure my shadows. Um... So what's everyone having this morning? Coffee, tea, or something fun? I'm not too far along with my coffee yet today, which is good. I still have it to look forward to, right? Now maybe I'll do a little bit of the sky. Black coffee. Allie, that's probably the best to have, right? No cream. I only try to put a tiny little bit of cream in it, but I'm always a little sad if I don't have any cream. <clears throat> oh, this is really dark right here, too. Black tea. I've been trying to drink more tea. I got in a good habit. Izzy and I were drinking tea every night, and then somehow I fell out of that habit again. I do think it relaxed me f for bedtime a little, just a little bit, not a lot. It takes a lot to get me to relax. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to do a little bit of the sky here to get my brush pretty clean. The taste of coffee black, that's good. A little peak of my neighbor's house sticking up right there, but I think I'm gonna leave that out. It's like a little subtle thing that no one would ever even notice, but it's not worth putting it in because it's not helping the painting at all. <clears throat> a little chunk there. <clears throat> the blue. Mm, is the blue too light? Maybe I'll add a little bit of a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue in there too. I think I need that. Need to get that there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I need a sip of my coffee. Fresh peach pie. Are you having that for breakfast? Mm. I haven't made any of those kinds. Of, like I usually make a peach cobbler. And peaches are in season. I think I might have to go to the farmer's market today. If I have time. <clears throat> So I'm just looking around here to see what, um, this kind of push that back a little bit. This goes in shadow. So it's much darker. I 
and this is too there's bits that are in shadow here <clears throat> Sarah says yes I like a little Minnesota caribou coffee with my cream and Truvia I love to have some fresh peach pie too yes enough for the class next time <laughs> that would be so good I've been trying to be really good about not having junk food, but boy, is it hard. I mean, I wouldn't even call peach pie junk food because if it's homemade peach pie, you can't not eat that. I went to yoga last night. My friend Connie often brings ev brings everyone cookies, and oh my goodness, they were so good. I saved one for Isabel, and she loved it. I thought I should try and bake cookies, but... I don't know when that would happen. <clears throat> I guess you have time for whatever you make time for, right? And all this is much darker up here. I really like how it looks. Um, Ellen, it's going to be at, I can't think of what the venue's called, but the restaurant's called The Farmer's Daughter. It's in Bluebell. Oh, I can tell you. No, I, I just found a piece of paper yesterday that had a contract. It is at, oh, shoot. I don't know what the place is called. Oh, well. It's at it's at a like a little wedding venue. Farmer's daughter. Oh, at Normandy Farm in Bluebell. <clears throat> it's really pretty. Yeah, she planned her wedding like in the blink of an eye. It's kind of the way to do it. You don't fret over the details. Weddings have gotten much simpler. Through COVID, I think. Or a lot have anyway. <clears throat> um, I'm looking where my shadow. Part of what gives this so much um, kind of sexiness is, is the light areas and the shadow areas in here. So I want to make sure I have darks in there. So when I go back in with my lightest colors, it, they really pop. So I'm looking for the shadows in these petals. Like there's even one in that. <clears throat> right, so I made a new recipe last night, balsamic grilled chicken and peach salad. The grilled peaches had the taste of cobbler. Oh my gosh, will you send that to me, Ellen, or Martha? I would love to have that recipe. Carol, oh, is he eloping in September? That's exciting. Where did, does he live out in Washington State? He lives far away, doesn't he? That's so fun. Are you getting to go to the elopement? I would say that's what my daughter's is. It's an elopement that we get to attend. <clears throat> Yeah, doesn't that sound good? I could add, put that in my newsletter if anybody wants that recipe. And Martha's a great cook, too. Whoops. Oh, my gosh. Do you see that delicious big chunk of paint I got on there? I love that. <clears throat> One of these days I'm going to paint like that, but not yet because they don't dry fast enough when I get those big pieces. Lives in Portland, that's right. They're getting married at Red Rocks of Sedona. Oh my gosh, a true elopement. <clears throat> it sounds very romantic. <clears throat> that Red Rocks is such a gorgeous place, too. <clears throat> May I ask how to paint loose? Every time I feel like it took me forever, even on a small canvas. Um, <clears throat> it's really practice to paint loose like I am always learning 
And yeah, the funny thing is you would think that painting loose <coughs> would be easier than painting tight, as I call it. But really, it's kind of the opposite because you really have to um, slow down and just put down intentional big thick use a great big brush use a small canvas that those are two big tricks to it but yeah it's kind of just practicing not getting precious with things not doing all the details so like in this back flower I'm not that worried about that totally looking like what I see because it's just a little kind of oh Martha already sent that recipe <laughs> thanks Martha I will put that in my newsletter that I send out. If anyone wants to be on my newsletter list and isn't, um, you can sign up through the link in my bio. Um, I try to send out a newsletter once a week. It doesn't always happen, but um, Martha's recipe will be fun to add in there. Um, I want this. fine yeah that's good I think so yeah painting loose is really just practicing not not um getting lost in the details intentional brush strokes but not um mm -hmm. big brush helps I'm trying to think how else with painting loose that is always my goal is to paint loose looser and looser is that a word? That might not even be a word. Martha's mom would know. So my friend Martha, who's sent over that recipe, she her mom was my seventh grade English teacher. Isn't that fun? Jeff says he'll scan it and mail it to you to make it easier to share. Oh, thanks, Martha. Painting a tomato. That's fun. I don't think I've done one of those yet. I need to. Tomatoes are like one of my favorite things, especially at this time of the year. We had tomato sandwiches for dinner on Monday. BLTs. So I'm going to have a little bit more of a time. Is it 8.42? I stopped watching the time. <clears throat> little more definition of the color change up here a little bit of a little bit of purple I always like to have a touch of purple next to my yellow so I'm holding off on putting my lightest lights in there it's always a little hard hard to be patient Okay, I think I could put some lighter yellows. I need to go just this little bit here. Got some weight of my canvas showing through um i still want this to go a little darker in here i think that's good um i'm looking to see if i feel like that um flowers kind of leaning in the right direction i think that's good And I'm still kind of saving this very last one. The lightest lights is what I'm going to probably put in there last. Oh, yeah. I'm, well, I'm definitely going to have to go get peaches. Go 
okay? Oh, you have a little glare on there, right? Let me move this. That help a little bit. All right, now I need to pause and think for a second here. Um, I like my, my, this is a little too blue down here, but I don't hate it. Just add some pops of more of a neutral in there. Now that got a little wonky. Oh, I know a little bit of my problem is I don't have, so when you have like a color like this background color in a glass vase, naturally there's some of the color of your background in showing through a little bit. So I think I need a little bit of that. Maybe that's what I was missing. Kind of pulls the colors together a little bit. That helped. It helped it feel more transparent. <clears throat> All right, I think that's good. I think now I can put in some of my lightest lights because I don't want to overwork this. <clears throat> so I'm just looking where those really light areas are, giving it more definitions that will help it to feel like the light's hitting it. Because usually like in photographing or doing anything for getting ready for a painting, it's, it's the light that makes it so magical. So like if you're photographing um, flowers or something at your house and you see light hitting it and it just looks gorgeous. Actually, Martha sent me some beautiful ones that she photographed at her house from, from her wildflowers. And I should have painted that today. I didn't even think about it, but, um, and she said it's cause she saw the light hitting it and it was so pretty. Really does make all the difference. And it's hard to even find that sometimes in the winter in the Northeast anyway. See how much more definition that gives it just pulling those lightest. Oh, thank you, Ellen. And this so I'm looking for um yeah that makes all the difference those little and it's so hard waiting till the very end to put them in for some reason it just <clears throat> it's the best way to go. So this part, like I feel like I'm very spontaneous and open painting most of the painting, but then when I get to this part, I really do slow down and think about each stroke and try to put my brush stroke and let it go just so that it keeps its kind of personality or something. Like, I'm not going to work back into that, even though it might not be the perfect stroke. Because if you go back in and start working into it again, then it, like, loses its its uh, spontaneousness. What is that? A je ne sais quoi. I don't know what the American term for that is. Well, I don't know what. So I have bits of things showing through from my underneath layers, like right there. I love that. A little. I 
And I do look at it through um, the camera of what you see too. Just gives me a little bit more of an idea of if I feel like it's forward. And it does look forward. I need just a little, a little dab of purple maybe. Thanks, Nancy. And look how loose that is. I'll show it to you up close. But that jar is incredibly loose. Like, there's very little about anything going on in there. Now I need a little... And I'm looking for like these spots here, they need to really kind of have my strongest light and dark differentiation in there. And I think that's good. I don't want to overwork it. Now I feel like I'm kind of adding things I don't necessarily need. Oh, I know I need a little bit more of this here. I think that's good. Now I'm fussing. All right, so let me stop. Now I need to sign it. Oh, um, Shelly, it's an app called Grid Hashtag. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, whoops. So on my iPad, is this is the app. It, you see what it looks like there? It, it looks like a, a G with a little hashtag on it. That's so I just open that app up and I can go to all my photos and, and choose anything and it'll put the grid. You can choose, you know, if you however many lines you want, four, six, eight, how wide you want your line to be, all that. So it's really really handy. <clears throat> all right, well that that's distracting. That's the wrong image. Now let me put this up so I can show you. Oh I might not have saved it, but that's no, that's not it. That's I took that inside and I took that one outside. Okay, so let me show you. So there's my reference, and then there's my painting. You can see kind of up close how loose that is. And then here's my palette. It's a pretty big palette because I did need a lot of different colors, but Sometimes, like, if I have this, I'll just paint sunflowers again because I already have all those colors mixed. But sometimes I go through a lot of them. Whoops. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you're not on my newsletter list, please sign up. And if you want to join the Inspiring Art Group, I think there's a link here in, um, in, the, in my bio on Instagram. And I will save this and upload it to um, both my website and to my YouTube channel. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. And I'll see a bunch of you at 11 o'clock. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks.